This is why millions come here each year, to see the shrine of the most revered Imam in Shia history, Imam Hussein. With more than 13,000 employees, some say it's a city, and it's growing every year. With the current stable security situation in general, the foundation is contributing to establish more expansion projects to observe more visitors to the holy sites. This is in order to maintain a momentum of good services and income. At the Friday prayer service, an approved representative of the highest Shia authority in the country, Grand Ayatollah Ali Sistani, delivers the sermon. After Mecca in Saudi Arabia, this shrine is considered the second most important place of worship for Shias. Imam Hussein is buried in the shrine behind me and next to him lies the body of his eldest son, along with 77 others who died in the Battle of Karbala in 680 AD. Now that's believed to be the starting point of the divide between Shias and Sunnis that continues 14 centuries later. This area will be added to the shrine's already extensive grounds within the next two years, completing an ambitious six-year project. It is being built to accommodate another 10 million visitors annually. The Imam Hussein Foundation has also opened a hospital here, where cancer patients from around the world are treated for free. There is a long wait list for prospective patients, but the foundation hopes with increased revenues, it can also be expanded. Muttadar al-Shami is one of the business owners within the grounds of the shrines who has witnessed the rapid expansion. He has been renting this store for the past 20 years. The more expansion is done around the shrine, the more visitors it will attract, and that will also mean our businesses can expand. It will generate more money for the holy city. People from around the world come to see these holy grounds in their millions each year. For the Iraqi government, religious tourism is the second highest source of income after oil. The number of visitors is increasing each year because many believe Iraq's security is improving. That means the country's revenue is too. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Karbala.